¿Qué pasó, pinche perro? It's your homeboy, Quetzalcoatl. Hitting your ass up with another video. This is the Anthony Joshua versus Joseph Parker post-fight episode of the Fuck Your Life Boxing Show. And I'd like to start off by congratulating Anthony Joshua, who with this victory is now the unified heavyweight champion, as he now holds the WBA, IBF, and WBO titles. However, I... I do have to admit that I was really disappointed with this fight. I was expecting fireworks in this bout. I thought Anthony Joshua was going to make a statement. You know, this was promoted as a huge heavyweight unification fight. And instead, we got a shit sandwich. And I'm not the type of dude that expects somebody to fucking die in the ring in order for it to be a good fight. But I at least want to see some action go down. I can appreciate what Anthony Joshua was doing in the ring. How he was displaying patience in this bout. How he was picking his spots. He was the one that was actually trying to make the fight. I can also appreciate what Joseph Parker was doing. He was boxing well. He was moving around in the ring. There were times where he was frustrating Anthony Joshua. But neither fighter, especially Joseph Parker was active enough for me to really be into this fight. When Wilder and Ortiz fought, there were moments where I was getting up off my seat watching that fight. I was hyped up for the next round. During this fight, I was literally on eBay looking for a fucking Gears of War controller. Or on Instagram checking out shit. Man, I almost fell asleep watching this motherfucker. But a win is a win. And with this victory, he's now taking the belt from three champions. And you got to give Joshua props. He's been proving himself fight after fight. He defeated Charles Martin. You know, the guy that was talking about he was like a god walking on this earth. After Joshua beat his ass, you ain't heard shit from Martin since. He's now a motherfucker that's asking for change on this earth. He beat Vladimir Klitschko in a fight that I predicted that Klitschko would win. He got dropped by Klitschko. Came back, showed what kind of heart he had, and beat the fuck out of Vladimir Klitschko. Gotta give him mad props for that victory. And he beat the guy who was the man at heavyweight. The guy who reigned for years in that division. And he just beat Joseph Parker. In a barn ass fucking fight. But he's now WBO champion. I do feel, however, that the judges' scorecards were a bit wide in Anthony Joshua's favor. There were a couple rounds that you could have scored for Joseph Parker. But I do believe that Anthony Joshua was the clear winner in this fight. Because in terms of offense, Joseph Parker didn't do much of anything. Definitely not enough to get his hand raised. As far as where Joshua goes from here, he's got plenty of options. Of course, the fight that everybody wants to see is Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. For some reason or another, both camps haven't been able to come up to an agreement for that fight. Uh, if it's about money, I think if Deontay Wilder really wants that fight, he's going to have to take less money. Anthony Joshua is just a bigger draw right now. He's already making more money than Deontay Wilder makes every time he fights. He's filling up stadiums. And I like Deontay Wilder. He's a very exciting heavyweight. Knocking motherfuckers out. And he's bringing back attention as far as the American heavyweight division goes. But at this moment in time, Joshua is the A-side. So a 50-50 split, that shit just ain't gonna happen right now. If a fight with Deontay Wilder can be made, Joshua versus Tyson Fury would also be a huge fight. You know, prior to Tyson Fury having all those problems with cocaine and shit, he was probably considered the man at the heavyweight division. Because he beat Klitschko before Joshua did. Maybe we can get a fight between Joshua and Ortiz. That'd be good to see as well. Or... Maybe a rematch between Joshua and Klitschko because Klitschko was tweeting some shit after the fight that he was talking about that he feels the fire in his belly. And the first fight, man, that shit was that shit was hype. I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch. But we'll see what happens, man. Who do you guys want to see Joshua fight next? Do you think that the next opponent should be Deontay Wilder? If that fight can't be made, who do you want to see him fight? Let me know in the comments section. And as always, if you like this shit, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is your homeboy Ketakwal, signing the fuck on out.